Even vegetarians think of meat from time to time. Mmm, I know I do. Oh, hi. My name is Lauren Lapkus, and today I'm going to prove to Marie Claire once and for all that I'm smart. This is my shelf portrait. Oh, you're still here. Okay, um, I guess I can tell you a little bit more about my bookshelves. I keep all my books in our upstairs room, which is really, really hot. And I don't usually spend a lot of time up here and I'm actually sweating sitting up here right now. But, you know, I have a pretty great collection and I have to say, I can't take much credit for it because probably three quarters of these books belong to my husband, but I have read a bunch of them and I have my own in here, I swear, I really do. One of the questions Marie Claire sent me is, what's your favorite genre? And actually this is the perfect book to be holding because I love a memoir. I read a lot of memoirs. I like nonfiction books, um, things that kind of break down something I'd like to understand. And I also like things that are just fun to read and put you in a good mood. So I don't know, I'm, I'm all over the place. I guess that doesn't really, that doesn't really answer your question. Does it? Maybe it does. I have this book, What I Know For Sure, that Oprah wrote. It's a compilation of all of her um, what I know for sure essays that she puts at the end of O Magazine. And what I love about this book is that every time I open it, I feel like I can connect to what I'm reading and it really just speaks to something I'm going through. So I'm just gonna pick a random page. In January, 2009, I appeared on the cover of O twice. Okay, well, it's not always relatable, but there, I feel there's a, Oftentimes it's really relatable and I love that about this book. This is a book that I recently got at LACMA, the LA Museum of Contemporary Art, and it's called Wrinkles by JR. And I really like this book because it's really just close up photos of people with wrinkles. And I think it's really beautiful. And then at the end, it says a little bit about each person and kind of describes them. And I just love that. I thought that was a really sweet book something nice to look at. Laughing lady, that'll cheer you up. Soon the dark night arrived at Gotham Harbor in the Batmobile. This is, this is what we live for. What was your favorite childhood book? My favorite childhood book Probably Beatrix Potter books. I loved reading those with my mom and my brother when I was growing up. Um, that's what comes to mind. I also loved Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> so sue me. Now I have been following the blog Post Secret for probably 15 years or something. And this guy, Frank Warren, gets postcards sent to him in the mail of people's secrets. And he posts them on this blog and it's just really fascinating. And he's published a few books of the secrets, some of the best ones. And it's always great because you can open it up and just feel less to, less alone with, with whatever sort of weird thing you've done in your life because someone else has definitely done something weirder. So let's see. The love of my life is ugly. I honestly don't know what to do with that. Is there a book you haven't been able to finish? This one's called I Remember Nothing. It's by Nora Ephron. She is hilarious. And this is a short essays, small pieces that she's written, all very funny. This is the kind of thing you throw in your bag on an airplane and you have a nice little read on a flight and then you land and you're like, ha, ah, things aren't so bad. Not on a flight anytime soon, but you know. What book would you recommend to a book club? Well, my book club really enjoyed this book. This is The Psychopath Test by John Ronson. It's really all about um, sociopaths and psychopaths, the difference between them. There's a lot of really interesting stuff in here and we had a field day trying to name people in our lives who are psychopaths. We all seem to know one. If you are one of the many people out there who was supposed to get married during the quarantine and then you had to cancel it, you should get this book. My friend Laura Wilcox wrote this book. It's called I Am Bride, How to Take the We Out of Wedding and Other Useful Advice. And it's a parody book for uh, wedding planning and just mocking the whole the whole industry. So you might be feeling a little mad about all that stuff right now. And this is a good book to read to take out some of your anger. Where do you like to buy books? Well, uh, lately I've been ordering books online, but I do like to buy books in other countries because they have different covers. So that's kind of a fun thing. And I feel like the covers in other places are always better than the ones in America. This is a book I also really liked. It's called You'll Grow Out of It by Jesse Klein. This is a memoir. Really funny. She's great. <laughs> Not so sure about that. Name a famous person you wish would write a tell-all. Hmm, 
who do I wish would write a tell-all? I mean, because a tell-all has to be kind of like revealing, like they're gonna share stuff you've never heard before, stories they've never told, things that shouldn't be in print. Um, wow. Mary Kate Olson. This book is called Living in Japan and I've traveled to Japan twice and it's my favorite place to go, I think. But I like this book um, during quarantine because it's just pictures of, you know, people's houses and different rooms. It's just nice to see different rooms. I'm just getting really sick of all the rooms that I get to look at and wouldn't it be nice to go there? just because it's different. My friend Erin Gibson wrote this book, Feminasty, The Complicated Woman's Guide to Surviving the Patriarchy Without Drinking Herself to Death. It's a really great book. She is really informed on a lot of the things that are going on in politics today. She's got a great perspective. She breaks it down in a way that's really easy to understand. Who is my favorite author? I think Miranda July is one of them. I have a lot of favorite authors. I like a lot of different things, but her stuff is so great. And her novel, The First Bad Man, which I don't have here uh, because I borrowed it from a friend, is so good. I highly recommend it. The characters are really unique and interesting and it's just a really different kind of story than what I read before. I just loved it so much. I think she has a really great mind. You're obsessed with me. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll keep talking. This is a really great book. This book is by Nicole Byer. She is a friend of mine. We co-host a podcast together called Newcomers where we watch Star Wars for the first time. We've never seen it, but now we have seen all of it. And um, those movies are long. So Nicole wrote this book. It's not very long, I'll, I'll give it that, but it's hilarious. It's so beautiful. I love these pictures. It's called hashtag very fat, hashtag very brave. And she puts in pictures of herself in amazing bikinis. And she wrote a very funny bunch of words around it. Highly recommend. I love David Sedaris. He makes me laugh so much. That's just something I feel. It's just my personal opinion. Of course, many, many people would agree with me. And one really great thing about me is that I have a really um, poor memory when it comes to things that I've read or seen. And so if I just open this book and read a story, it's brand new to me every time. Mm -hmm.